Okay, so this is the first time I've ever gotten this random in Old School RuneScape, ever. Ever, ever, ever. I've never gotten this random before in Old School RuneScape until now. I, I, for some reason I can't, oh my god. This is the first time I've ever gotten this random in Old School. I think it's because you used to only ever get it if you buried bones, and I just never buried bones, like ever. And maybe they've changed it now so you can get it any time. But this is literally the first time I've ever gotten this random in Old School RuneScape. This is so cool. I haven't done this random in probably at least like four years or whenever they whenever they change randoms. Wow, this is crazy. I'm so glad though because I've I've never been able to unlock the two zombie uh, emotes or whatever you get from this, and also I've never gotten the outfit. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> What was really nice about this is that you could actually use it as a bank though. This is the only random where you could bank your items, because you could deposit all your items in here, so if you're doing like a trip where your inventory fills up and you have to bank when your inventory fills, and it's really nice. But anyways, let's see what we get out of this, as long as we did it right. Thank you, Leo. Cool shades. The zombie dance emote, sick! <laughs> Finally! Oh my god. I've literally played old school since the release, on this account, and just now I've unlocked that emote. It's so nice. It's driving me crazy to not have them too, so that's really good. Hopefully I'll get those randoms in the future and I'll actually do them until I get all the pieces of the outfit and everything. Yeah, 96 cooking. <laughs> Somebody commented, oh, 2000 total level too, I didn't even remember that I was getting that. 2000 total level, holy shit, that is so sick. Oh my god, 277 levels to go until max. Um, yeah, but anyways, on my last video, someone commented asking how much homework do I get. Um, because I guess I'd get, gotten a lot of cooking levels. And um, in response to that, because for some reason there wasn't a reply button. That's, that's really annoying. For some reason there aren't reply buttons on random comments. really have no idea why. Yeah, I, I kind of get a lot of homework. <laughs> I usually spend at least like a couple hours every day doing homework so the cooking xp adds up to be quite a lot so yeah i do get a lot of homework it sucks um but yeah anyways 96 cooking is pretty sick only three levels until 99 it's so weird but yeah 2000 total level 2000 that's so sick and level 98 magic has been achieved all from imbuing straight from 97 to 98 all i've done is magic imbue <laughs> And uh, I'm going to keep doing it, and I'll definitely get to 99 and a bit after 99 by the time I'm 99 agility. I should be 99 in magic when I'm around 96 or 97. Um, if I figure I get about a third of my agility XP, then that would be about 3.6, 3.7 mil agility XP, which would bring me up to, um, I think that would be about 97, because 97 is about 10.6 mil. So right about when I'm getting 97 agility, I should get 99 magic. And I'm guessing by then I'll have 99 cooking too, because I, it feels like I'll probably have 99 cooking within like a week or so, because I've just been... I've gotten a lot of homework, which means I've done a lot of cooking. But yeah, 98 magic is pretty cool. It really is such an easy skill, because I don't have to put in any effort for it. I just spend a few mil, buy some uh, astral runes, and just cast magic imbue and waste no ticks for agility, which is really nice. And it'll actually be about 14 million experience in magic by the time I'm done with agility. And I'll definitely keep imbuing and doing other stuff whenever I can to get my magic XP up, since it's basically no wasted time. 93 agility, yeah. That means I'm no longer just halfway, which is nice. And you may notice that I sound horrible right now, it's because I'm sick and stuffy and gross. Today's been a pretty shit day. Um, time to bring all of your moods down, I guess. So, um, yeah, I woke up feeling like shit, and I still do. My nose is all stuffy and gross. And, uh, my girlfriend came over today, and, uh, we're hanging out, and then I pointed out at some point during the day that I noticed I kept having these weird little bumps on my arm, like little red things, kind of look like bites, but not, like, mosquito bites or something, I don't know, and it's unusual to have that many, and, uh, it's been happening for the past couple weeks, and I was kind of wondering what it was, and then we are hanging out, and, uh, <coughs> She noticed that I have bed bugs, which is disgusting. And uh, if any of you guys are wondering, bed bugs don't arise based on like the cleanliness of the room. So it's not because my room is unclean or anything like that. They just come wherever they can, basically. So it's not really dependent on anything like that. 
It's not really something you can control that much, unless you're just an intense clean freak and are constantly like spraying your house with insecticides, which isn't really a normal thing. So, I have bed bugs, and um, don't get too excited because we were just hanging out in my room doing physics homework. But um, yeah, I went to the bathroom and then I came back, and she was like, "Yeah, I think I know what your problem is. You have bed bugs." And she took one of my pillows, and there were a bunch of little brown, flat insects crawling around and a bunch of little white things which are larvae and uh yeah beautiful picture in your mind hope none of you guys are eating um so yeah that sort of put an end to the day and <laughs> i took the pillow and brought it to my dad and said hey dad i have bed bugs and he was like well i guess we'll just take everything stick it in a bag and uh went and bought some bed bug spray and uh moving to the hide a bit on my couch for the time being until we get this sorted out but yeah not a fun time and it's just really disgusting to know that I've been sleeping with these insects for the past few weeks Ugh, god it's awful I, <laughs> I don't know I, I'm sure some of you guys have experience with bed bugs not a fun time and uh yeah that's been my day not so much not so much fun but I went to my girlfriend's and had tacos at least which wasn't too bad but yeah Anyways, 93 Agility, I hope you guys enjoyed that little tangent there. Um, hopefully I'll feel better soon because my voice probably sounds awful right now and nobody wants to listen to me when I'm sick and gross. And I can't even, like, breathe through my nose, so I just have to constantly be panting. <laughs> oh, I hate it when this happens. And then I'm playing RuneScape and my nose is constantly running, so I have to run and grab tissues and waste XP. <coughs> Only good thing about today is that I didn't get much homework, so I got to play some RuneScape, but... Spent a lot of time dealing with bed bugs. Ugh. Also, one other thing that actually interesting that happened today was um, in my school, they were, during my advisory period, which is sort of just time where we do random shit, they were, uh, everyone did, took an online personality test, which is like the MBIT thing where you get the four different letters, so there's 16 possibilities. And uh, I've done it in the past, and I always get INTJ, which is interesting if you take one of those personality tests you uh, um, at least I find that I it's oddly relatable to my personality and how I am and uh, <laughs> INTJ is considered like the the scientist or the mastermind <laughs> basically the letters are introverted intuitive thinking and judging so basically it's like the less emotional, or at least less outwardly emotional, more, um, analytical and, uh, logical thinking type person, and less extroverted, and more focused on just sort of down-to-earth, rather than social niceties or anything like that, which definitely is true of me if I know anything about myself. I don't give a shit about small talk and anything like that. I tend to be somewhat quiet in, uh, social environments unless I find something interesting and then I'm I don't have any like problems talking about things that are interesting to me I just don't like talking unless it's about something that I feel is worth saying and I think that's one of the things that's true of INTJs but if any of you guys have uh, taken in and my I think it's Myers-Briggs is the general uh, or young or whatever I don't know MBIT and you end up with like there's 16 different possibilities and you end up with a combination of four letters if any of you guys have taken that test feel free to leave a comment below with what personality you are, or what you've been labeled anyways. So it's always interesting to me to uh, think about things like that, because like, I've definitely had instances where I've felt very not confident in myself because I'm not a very extroverted person, and I'm, it takes me a while to like adapt to social situations, and I tend to be not the one that introduces myself <laughs> because I just feel awkward, I guess. Um, and so it's kind of nice to know that that's like a personality type and not just a personal flaw that something wrong with me or whatever that there's lots of other people that aren't necessarily good at that type of thing um, but yeah that's something that's kind of interested in me and uh, my girlfriend took the test too and she got the same result which is kind of weird and we also are both interested in computer science and came to that conclusion independently of each other really which is weird we're oddly similar in a lot of ways that it's strange because we started dating in seventh grade when we were both sort of just kids and it's weird how much we've actually got in common even though we just started dating from middle school but you know I think this is a uh, long enough clip talking about random shit 
so I'm gonna end it here. Alright, so I think it's time to uh, check my kingdom again, and maybe plant a spirit tree since I haven't done that in like a week. Keep, I'm, I'm really good at uh, keeping up with stuff like that, clearly. Um, so yeah, if you haven't been able to tell yet, I am still sick, and it sucks. But yeah, let's see, a uh, room of wealth, and I need a pickaxe, and I need some monies. Some moolah. Alright, this is what I got for the past week. It seems like I have like 300 more maple logs, so I think it's like one day extra worth than the last video where I collected. But I did collect a little bit early in the last video, but yeah. Some nice nests, let's we'll see if I can get anything good from those, and let's see how much money they've used. Alright, so... I was at like 1.3 mil, I think, or like 1350k, so they use like 600k in a week, I guess. I'll put in another mil. Let's see how many seeds I have. 7 spirit seeds and then 12 saplings, which I'm going to go plant one right now. I need five monkey nuts, monkey bar, and all of these seeds are just from Kingdom. Like uh, all the palms, these four. Actually, wait, no, I take that back. I bought some for my friend in the last video, so no rent. Some of these are from Kingdom, at least. Maybe like five or ten of the magic seeds and all the other ones. Of course, all the spirit seeds were from Kingdom. All right, so I need to get a uh, glory and go plant this lovely tree. Get some runes from View. Yeah. 19k or 20k, whatever XP it is. And I need my shit to get rid of this. Man, it's gonna take so long. Oh! Sad. There we go. I always forget to put my shit back in my tool leprechaun and then I get to the bank and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like going back to the tool leprechaun, so I'll just bank it and then I'll remember next time. I never remember, ever. Oh, my commentary probably sounds so bad right now because my fucking. My throat is just like horrible there we go i'll probably check this again in a week even though i should check it in three days because that's how long it actually takes i'm 388k to an agility level so i'll try to get that tomorrow um before i have this video out and i just passed 10 metal cooking which is nice i don't know if i'll actually i probably will get some more cooking xp maybe 97 because i have a lot of homework to do this weekend so should be a couple more levels coming up pretty soon and um yeah lots of exciting stuff Hey, we got Leo again. So the reason that I, we're getting this now is just because it, with the random event updates, you can now get any random event. It doesn't matter what you're doing. And before, you'd only get Leo if you were bearing bones. So that's why I can now get Leo, which is nice. So I can finally get the emotes and the outfit unlocked, and I can check that off of my list of things to do. I don't actually need to talk to him because I already know how to do this. But yeah, this random is kind of annoying, it's a waste of XP, but I just have to do it however many times it will take to get the full outfit and the emotes, and then after that, obviously, I'll just not do it anymore. But it did always kind of bug me that I didn't have it. I'm hoping that I get the emote. For some reason, the emotes interface is not on here, but I have one emote that I still haven't unlocked, which is the other zombie emote, because I got one of them the last time I got this. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get that this time so I can have all the emotes done. Zombie mask... Well, it's not the emote, unfortunately, but it's another piece. So I'm kind of assuming that you just get one piece for each random. So there's the top, legs, boots, and gloves. So that's four, and then five, including the uh, zombie walk emote. So in total, I need to get five more of those, and then I'll have all that done, which is very nice. Uh, so I'm trying to buy a, vac a volcanic whip mix, and 318 is so laggy. Jesus Christ. I can't do anything. I have no idea what's going on here. Finally, Jesus Christ, I DC'd out and it took me like a f fucking age to log back in. Alright, so I'm going to put this on my whip because it looks cool. And then see how I look. So here's before, and here is after. Damn, that looks so cool. I feel like the black is... I guess they changed that too because it used to... Be, like the normal one is like dark reddish, not black, but... Damn, it looks so awesome, and it matches the fire cape really well. That's sick looking. It'll be so nice to slay in that whenever I actually start slaying. But yeah, that's really sick. I'm really glad they added those, because it was only like 200k or whatever. It wasn't that expensive. And uh, definitely worth it, because it looks amazing. It matches the fire cape perfectly. They actually use the same uh, texture right here. I think it has an animation if you look closely, but you can't really tell that well. But yeah, I think so. The, the uh, image there isn't really that accurate to what it actually looks like, but... Damn, that's cool. Alright, so in this clip I managed to get myself 97 cooking, which is pretty nice. 
and uh, I imagine I'll probably be 99 within about a week or so, which is crazy, but I guess that will be my uh, fourth 99, yeah, my fourth 99, and um, Magic will come in a couple weeks, I think, also, and then Agility will be a week or two after that. So um, I made some decent progress in the video, just sort of random <laughs> clips about different stuff, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and that's going to be about it for this video, guys. I appreciate your viewerships, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a comment below with anything you'd like to tell me or in any reason that you uh, enjoyed or did not enjoy the video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you guys soon with a new video.